Hello, hello, it is Chris Raquel and I am back again with another video. Today is day 11 of our 21 days of change and we are focused on exercising as well as more prayer. And what I would like to talk about today, it is a spe special topic, it's not something that's super long, but I want to talk to you all about why you should not date a man who is living at home with his parents. And I'm not saying that a man is in his own space and a parent has moved in with them because um, that parent needs help, they're older in age or they're sick. I am talking about a man who has moved in with his parent or parents or has been living with his parent, a parent has never left. So I, I just want you all to focus on the reason behind it and there is a big why. Well, a woman should not move in, well, a woman should not date a man who is currently living with his parent unless of course the parent has moved in but you also have to make sure even if they do say that their parent has moved in with them and the parent fell in hard times or parents fell in hard times or their parent is sick you also have to be mindful because people do make things up and people do lie so the main reason why a lady who is of dating age should not be dating a man who lives at home and yes it does depend on um, it does depend on his age and his space in life because if somebody is, if a young man is attending college and he lives near his college and he's living with his parents, that is fine. And there are a lot of cultures, including my own, where a man moves on his own when he has found a wife. However, the reason why it's different is because if the man is, you know, working on his studies and he is actually a lot of times in those cultures that those individuals get married like before 30 or in their mid 20s so that's why it makes more sense but if this man is not doing his studies not pursuing um his education and not in a space where he can now be seeking a wife and he's preparing then absolutely not if this is a man who um he and it's not only parents too it's also a man who has only had roommates and the reason why i'm telling you this is because if you get with a man who is living at home meaning he can't afford to pay his own rent that's the scenario i'm talking about or he and i'm not talking about those scenarios that don't line up with what i'm saying i am talking about uh, an individual who he is not he's not does is not capable of supporting himself fully so he can't pay for his own space he cannot he cannot afford rent and I'm not I'm not, I'm not saying I don't want you to use this excuse and be like and use this as an excuse like well you know she said that there's different scenarios so there are different scenarios and you know well he lives in this area and this is astronomical I'm not even telling you to use this, what I'm saying as an excuse either. Basically, you know, take what I'm saying seriously because I've seen this time and time again. It's very important for a man to be able to uh, support himself. If you get with a man who cannot support himself financially, he, you know, is trying to get funds from his parents, he... You know he has long since graduated college he's not of college age and he is pretty much mooching off of his parents that is a big no-no because a young man should be seeking to establish himself and be on his own you as a man cannot well this is not to men but i'm just saying in general a young man should not be mooching off his parents his parents should you know be preparing him to eventually have his own home and have his own wife once again in certain cultures that young man will stay in his parents home but he's actively trying to find a wife he's actively his parents are actively trying to find a wife and trying to you know give him different ladies who could potentially not give him but they're you know finding a good match for their son but I'm talking about this day and age in the United States. If that's the case, I would advise you to run if that man is 
way beyond well not way beyond is beyond college age meaning he's not in college he's not in pursuit of his studies he's working and he's living with his parents because you just have to be prepared for what that's going to bring and ladies if you are prepared to move into a household where everything is going to be 50 50 quotations where you are going to have to pay bills all the bills split them evenly with your spouse where your spouse is going to be looking to you for your income where you'll never have the option to stay at home if you're pregnant if you want to take some time a year to yourself where that's never going to be an option i would recommend you go with a man who's um who can't support himself because if a gentleman has always lived with his parents if he has always had roommates has has not sought to have his own space that is just telling you that he's not prepared to take on a wife he has lived and intends to always live with someone who's going to foot half of the bills or all the bills in the parent scenario maybe his parents ask him ask him ask him to give like a couple hundred dollars to for his space or maybe they don't ask for anything a lot of times parents when you're living with them they don't care what age you are they might they may just say no don't pay me anything you know i love you so much or maybe they'll just ask to pay for groceries ask him to pay for groceries or he may go out and seek to have a roommate because he figures uh, you know i i can't really support myself in a one bedroom apartment let alone a two bedroom apartment or a two par two bedroom space and i would prefer to have a roommate because it's just gonna cut my costs down um you know just trying to make a living out here i'm trying to pay as little as possible and i don't want to be you know um I want to be able to enjoy the things I want to do. I want to be able to, you know, go out to the bar or go, you know, spend things, spend more. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter to me if I just, if I don't have my own space. And it's, you have to just think of it that way. I've seen it time and time again. I've even seen it recently within the past year or two. There was an individual who they, this man had only ever live with roommates and he ended up wanting to telling his girlfriend that hey you know move in with me um you know we're gonna find a great space for us and i'll take care of everything and mind you he was still living with this roommate and then the lady decided to move in with this gentleman and they he found this space but unfortunately he was not able to pay that young lady ended up having to pay 50 50 of all the bills um and then she even had to support him and you know she was in a bad space because this guy said he was going to do all these things for her or that he was going to take care of her essentially and of course look at the other video the last video I, that i just did do not move in with a boyfriend or fiance however i just brought up that scenario not for that topic but this topic which is do not move in with no, I keep saying move in. Do not live with a man who is living with his parents and also who has never lived on his own and is not a student um, and has always had roommates. That's very important because if they have only had roommates, do you really think that they're gonna that they're prepared to take care of themselves fully and you? You really think so? And you still even have to be mindful of the people who they're on their own. This is also, I should have mentioned this before, this is the reason why you also should not move in with a boyfriend or a fiance because even if they're living on their own, sometimes they want you to come in so you can help support their bills. And I always say this, I'll even teach my son this in the future if I have sons. If you as a young man have your own space, you're able to take care of yourself in your apartment, one bedroom apartment or whatever you have, and then you take on a girlfriend or not girlfriend but i'll say wife in this scenario whoever you take on a lady you're going to you say you're going to take care of her for the purposes of this i'll just say any significant um any female significant other whether it's girlfriend fiance or um or wife and of course it should be wife but just because 
just so it relates to all these situations because I know a lot of people still move in with their boyfriends and fiancés even though I say you shouldn't so if you as a man you have your own space now and you're bringing a young lady or woman let's say wife whoever to move in with you now why if you can support yourself it looks odd to me it's almost like hmm now you want her to support you fully support you you want her to help support your bills that you were already paying on your own does that make sense does that make sense no and <laughs> it's not i'm not going to go into like the 50 50 thing because that's not what this video is about but the main video is ladies if you would like to enter into a situation where you are very likely going to be paying 50 50 of everything and for those of you who don't know much about what i talk about i believe in very traditional views in there and it's based on biblical things i would never say that lady cannot work ever um you know the bible talks about ladies who worked however we know that the male he was created and one of his roles is to work the land um, to provide and protect his family and the ladies one of her responsibilities is to um, be nurturing and care for her home and things like that but you know in this day and age yes a lot of ladies work nothing's wrong with that but I'm just saying ladies if you want it to be where now you are going to be in the home caring for the home doing everything in the home cooking cleaning and also mandatory that you have to work 40 50 hours a week then you you can go ahead and get with the man who has does not support himself in terms of his living space has always had roommates has always had um um and has always and lives, lives with his parents or has lived with his parents so just be mindful of that ladies and i'm not saying every single man who lives um with roommates won't be able to take care of you but it's very very likely that he's going to expect a 50 50 situation because he is used to doing 50 50 with people he's used to having roommates so just be mindful of that ladies i'm just trying to warn you you really want to make sure that the man that you end up with is able to provide for himself and take care of himself and also you don't really want an individual who's all up under their parents all the time um but there's been cases because i know there's another scenario where a young man he ended up he lived with his mom however he was in his early 20s mid 20s and it the home was in his name and he's the one that primarily paid for the rent that's a little bit different it i'm more so talking about people who they're mooching off of their parents and they will always have a roommate they they're looking for they're not okay basically the reason why i'm mentioning this is because that just means that that gentleman is not ready to support a wife and if you say you might say oh well i'm just looking to date anyway you know i'm not really serious about that i've heard people say that before like i'm not really serious i don't really want but of course you know a lady she says that then afterwards yeah she'll be like yeah i'm looking to get married <laughs> so just because of the nature of women you young ladies i know you are out here and you want to find love and marriage and all those good things i would highly recommend that you do not date a young man who is unprepared for marriage is unprepared to date and yes that is all that i described meaning a young man who is living with his parents meaning mooching off of them or um you know not not wanting to support himself or a young man who has always had roommates because i'm not saying that there's something wrong with a man who has only had roommates but i want you to know it is going to be very un likely that that man who has always had roommates or has always lived with a, a girl a girlfriend or boyfriend sorry a girlfriend roommate or a fiance wife well not fiance wife but a girlfriend roommate if that's all he's ever lived with that lets you or his parents that lets you know that he is really not going to be prepared he is probably expecting you to always foot half of those bills so 
once again what i say in terms of that that's biblical i look at the biblical perspective and i'm not saying women cannot work however we can all sensibly assume that a woman cleaning cooking caring for the children and working 50 40 60 hours a week and a man just working 40 50 60 hours a week and coming home you know excited for that good food that you're cooking and you know just playing with the kids hey how you doing i think we can all say that that is not a fair that is not fair okay so um and of course there are ways that we can switch it around like if for instance the lady says well you know i'm working we're all going to split everything down the middle i work he works and I make sure that he does the um, housework just as good as me. He does as much as me. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, got it. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you about, this, about that situation because we all know that that's not usually the case. We all know that the usual thing is that the woman ends up taking a lot more of that burden. She is most likely probably better at the stuff in the home. She does the cooking. Most of her cooking is done. Cause she wants to care for her family. She wants to make sure that they're eating well. She'll do the cleaning. She's probably better at it. I know I'm better at it. <laughs> um, you know, cleaning, sanitation, washing. She's good at those things. And then she'll end up doing all the work. And it's in terms of, you know, working to earn income. And I'm not saying a woman can't, but I'm just saying all that responsibility and that stress from work is not supposed to fall on her. Um, so yeah, ladies, if you would like that, if you would like there to be a higher probability that you'll end up in a 50-50 marriage, meaning you have to always pay 50% of the bills, 50% of your mortgage or your rent, 50% of the electric bill, 50% of all those things. And you know, if that's always going to be um, a need and not something optional or, you know, and of course things happen and you know, there's going to be times in a marriage where you may have to contribute more than you're used to. But if you want it to be the stress on you to now where you're the main breadwinner, if you want to do that, then go ahead and date who I'm telling you not to date. <laughs> Hope you have a wonderful, blessed night. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you have any comments, concerns, if you would like me to talk about something, let me know down below or even send me an email. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.